Hey, dweebs, what's up? Uh, it's nice they put these picnic tables out here. So you can sunbathe before school. Oh, it feels nice. Anyway, so... As I say again, any more ideas on what we're going to do tonight? Okay, another Friday night just hanging around my pool. Okay, yes. Thanks for noticing. Yes, we know it's my parents' house. But we all know when they kick the bucket, it'll all be mine. So, hmm. Uh, there has to be something. And I don't even know why years ago we moved to this podunk town. So above it. Oh. I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, but you come over here and you kiss me on the cheek and you don't even ask me. What is that about? Yeah, sunshine, hello, yeah. No, you're, you're like interrupting and it's rude. Yeah, so rude, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe tomorrow or something. Tonight I'm going to be with my friends. We're going to do something really cool. Oh, because I like to separate my, like, personal life with my, like, friend life, so, yeah, yeah, thumb around, holler at me, sure, bye, peasant, oh, I don't know why I put up with this shit. Okay, look. It's like mandatory, right? I'm like the head cheerleader. And he's like the quarterback. I kind of have to. He, okay. He's not all bad. But oh, it just gets annoying after a while. I mean, like, seriously. And... There's only so much I could put up with. Hello? I'm like stressed out as it is. No. It, my parents changed the masseuse. Can you believe that? No. This one's like too rough. I mean, ugh. Like, I want to be manhandled like that. I don't need, you know, I don't have, like, the knots like my parents have. And obviously, they think I do. And I've even said, and I've even told them, look, I can get you fired. Uh, no, they barely understood me. Because they barely grasp the English language like we do. Hello. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Right? As if. Ugh. <laughs> anyway. So. Back before we were rudely interrupted. What are we going to do? What, the dorks? What about them? Oh. Yeah, but is it really worth our time? Yeah, but think about it. We're going to be having midterms coming up. Do we really want to write our own papers? 
I know, right? So smart. Yes. I mean, yeah, I would love to crash the nerds party, but uh, you know, you gotta think. You know, you gotta use your brain. I do that sometimes. You know, use my brain. Yeah, I don't know, but it just kind of dawned on me, you know, like, what my dad told me. And usually, I'd, like, listen to, like, nothing of what he says, other than, please, daddy, can I have my allowance, is usually about the extent of a conversation. But, when he said... Sweetheart, you know your looks are only going to get you so far. And when you get older, look at your mother. They fade. And I looked outside at my mother smelling her prize winning roses. I'm like, oh, yes. Thank you, Daddy. That is totally true. Mother skin lately is looking like saddlebags. <laughs> So it is true. And I don't intend on giving up the sun anytime soon. Hence why we are out here getting in some vitamin Z's so we can look young forever. <laughs> I know. I'm like the smartest one of our group. So that's why you guys should always look to me. I know what I'm talking about. Oh. Alright, first one, tell me how much longer we have till the bell rings. Uh, uh, you got it first. How much? Really? Oh, shit. Oh, five minutes. You know what that means? Oh, that's in second place. God bless us all. So does it lunch. So I hope you brought you all. Because I should never have to pay. You should be glad that you get to bask in the glory that is me. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. So, oy, so about tonight, I guess we just meet up at my place and then we find something to do, huh? I mean, it is the best place, I mean, yes, it's the best place to meet up at. It's not too far out of town, so you heifers can walk to it, right? Yeah, and I'm not doing that again. Because I got in trouble. I, like, lost my allowance for, like, two whole weeks. Two weeks without my allowance. <laughs> because we wanted to go shopping, and it was so cool. It might have been worth it. But, you know, when my dad has to go to these special things, and he calls the limo company, I, like, pretended like I was his secretary, so I ordered the limo <laughs> and we had it out all day long and the old man croaked when he, when he got the bill. So, well, he almost croaked. I don't know. It's hard to tell with old people, right? I mean, I, I don't know. They're like, what are they like? Oh, I hate saying it. Like 40? I don't know. Well, my parents are ancient. And apparently, to my mother's skin, we don't age very well, so I have to make sure I stay extra pretty. I intend to go to college, too. I have to go look good for college. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think we will all be together anymore. <laughs> because I don't think your parents can 
by you into the college that I want to get into. I mean, I don't want to get into any, like, you know, <sighs> pretentious, like, some Ivy League, you know, all the rich kids do that. I want to be a little, you know, avant-garde. But I don't want to be with, uh, uh, surrounded around, like, here, the unwashed masses. But I would love to that you guys could, you know, my circle of friends, to protect me from said unwashed masses. Yes. Hmm. Oh. oh, let's get a start on this shit show early. I still have to pee. Oh. My mother making me drink these smoothie drinks. It goes right through me. It does a lot of good. It does her. I think her ass grows a meter every year. <laughs> oh, now listen. <laughs> I am not a bitch. I am the bitch. And that's Miss Bitch to you. <laughs> All right, gang. Let's go. We'll be back. Let's meet back here at lunchtime. And remember, you, since you were second, you're buying the drinks. Hmm. Bye.